If you've been looking to get the Rode Wireless Go, you should also take into consideration the Bietren wireless microphone system. I have to admit that the Bietren modules aren't quite as sleek looking as the Rode Wireless Go, and they're slightly larger. But with looks aside, one of the biggest differences is the cost. The Bietren sells for $90, while the Rode Wireless Go is priced at $230. Out of the box, the Bietren wireless mic system comes with a transmitter and receiver, as well as a box of accessories. Those accessories include a carry pouch, dual head USB-C charging cable, 3.5mm lavalier microphone, instruction manual, and audio cables for cameras and smartphones which I'll go into detail later. On the front, the modules look exactly the same. And it's the same on the back with belt clips that double as hot shoe mounts for cameras. But here you can see the differences with the receiver on top and the transmitter on the bottom. The cool thing is that the transmitter has a built-in mic so you don't always have to use the clip-on lavalier microphone. It's also nice that these units are extremely compact in size and ideal if you want something lightweight for recording audio, especially when the camera and subject are moving. To power on a module, press and hold the power button and the backlit LCD comes to life. Here you can tell this is the receiver with the initials RX at the top. The transmitter will be labeled TX. But I want to show you how to connect this to a smartphone so you can do it correctly. First, plug the audio out cable to the receiver. This is the one with four sections on the other end of the 3.5mm plug. On Android and older iPhones with a headphone port, this plug goes directly into the headset jack. Newer iPhones without a headphone jack would need this lightning to 3.5mm adapter. Android phones without a headphone jack would need this USB-C to 3.5mm cable. With these adapters, I'm basically adding a headphone jack to these newer phones. But keep in mind that these adapters are sold separately and not included with the Be It Run wireless microphone system. If you have a newer phone, start again by plugging the audio cable into the Be It Run receiver with the RX initials on the display. On iPhone, plug that cable with four sections into the end of the lightning adapter. Then plug the lightning adapter into the iPhone. Finally, plug the lavalier mic into the transmitter and all the connections are complete. For this iPhone test, I'm using the free Recorder Plus app from the App Store. I like this because I can see what input the phone is using. And when I start recording, you can see on the audio meter that the iPhone is picking up sounds from the Be It Run wireless microphone. Remember, Android phones without a headset jack would need the USB-C to 3.5mm adapter, which is sold separately. But for this Android demo, my original Google Pixel does have a headphone jack, and I've got the Be It Run receiver plugged directly into the phone. But if you want to record video on an Android phone with an external mic, you may have an issue which I'll explain a solution towards the end of the video. Connecting to a camera like a DSLR is pretty simple and straightforward. For this, I'll need the 3.5mm audio cable with three sections on both ends. Plug one end into the camera's microphone port, and then plug the other end into the Be It Run receiver. Now there's a cool thing I need to show you. The belt clip actually fits onto the hot shoe mount on top of the camera, so the receiver doesn't have to dangle by the cord. Finally, plug in some headphones here if you want to monitor real-time audio. So those are the basic connection instructions for smartphones and cameras. But here are some audio tests so you can hear what the Be It Run sounds like. Okay, so this is a quick test of the Be It Run wireless microphone system. I'm using just the module itself. It has a built-in microphone, and I want you to hear what it sounds like and what it can sound like. And in just a moment, I'm going to switch to the plug-in lavalier microphone so you can hear the sound versus the built-in microphone. Okay, so now I switch to the clip-on microphone. This is the wired lavalier. It's also plugged into the same module that I was recording on before, except this time I've got the cord in this. Um, I just want you to be able to hear the difference between the built-in microphone and this wireless um, lavalier. Um, I'm also recording on an Android phone, just so you know what source I'm recording to. And uh, forgive me for the shakiness, uh, I'm using this on a little short selfie stick. So uh, this is the Be It Run wireless microphone, and I hope you can hear the differences between the two mics, the built-in one and the corded one right here. And now just one last clip here. This is the phone's built-in microphone. I've got it on that selfie stick again at, a, at an arm's length, uh, about as far as I can reach out, maybe about uh, two to two and a half feet away from me. But I just wanted you to have this for reference when you ch uh, 
when you uh, hear the differences between the microphones. And before you buy, here are some important things you should know. The Be It Ren wireless microphone system has a range of 164 feet or 50 meters, and there are up to 50 channels available to avoid interference. The transmitter and receiver modules can run for up to 5 hours and it takes 3 hours to fully recharge. And speaking of recharging, you can charge both modules at the same time with an included dual head USB-C cable, which is pretty cool that they included that type of cable. And here's a really important tip for Android users. Most camera apps that come installed on Android phones won't recognize an external mic. And a lot of people get frustrated because they can't figure out why it's not working. But my solution is to download the free Open Camera app from the Google Play Store. You should be using Open Camera if you want to use this or any other external mic during video recording on an Android phone. You'll thank me for this later. At $90, the Beat Run wireless microphone system is a really budget-friendly alternative to the more expensive Rode Wireless Go. If this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all my weekly videos.